Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of my channel, Harry Explains JavaScript and then sometimes things that aren't JavaScript. I'm so glad to have you back. I'm going to continue on our current uh, two part, this is part two of two so far, so this is the full series unless I make a third one of JavaScript fundamentals. Today I'm going to talk about a little uh, surprisingly squirrely basic JavaScript feature, const. Const is one of the newest ways of declaring a variable in JavaScript, and it has a few gotchas that you might not be aware about. So let me explain to you today some of those gotchas. So first thing we have here, a lovely browser console that we can type in and kind of ex explore and explain how const works. Uh, of course, as you may be aware, you can declare a new variable with const, so here person, and the big feature of const is that once you've declared a variable with const, you could not change what that variable points to. And I'm being very careful with my word. If you kind of pick up on where this video is going, you'll be a, let me know if you pick it up on the end, because I'm, I'm being very careful with my words. You cannot redeclare what the variable points to. So for example, if I try to say uh, wolf instead, I'm getting an, a, an error, assignment to a constant variable, uh, which is good. I mean, that I can't modify it. Another function, a uh, feature of const is that it is block scoped like let. So if I have person Harry and I have um, if true, we're going to do control, uh, actually we're going to do const person equals wolf. And then we're going to do console log person. Close that. We're going to console log uh, la, 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 person again. So what I should see here when I'm done is Harry Wolf because const is scoped to the block. A block, for example, is an if statement, a while statement, a for loop. Anything that has kind of curly braces is a very easy way to understand if it's block scope. So now if I run this, Harry Wolf, no problems at all. Uh, if I look at what person is here, the top scope is Harry. I'm not gonna talk about scope that much because that's a whole video on itself. Uh, but again, if I try to reassign this here, if I even try to do this, const person equals wolf, of course, I get a error. Now, where things get a little bit weird with const is when you don't assign a primitive value to const. So a primitive value is a string integer boolean. Uh, I think symbol is probably one too, but that's a new feature. We're not gonna worry about that. Uh, those are things that you kind of write as literals. A literal is like, you know, kind of like this. This is just a string. Uh, this is just a Boolean. And when you, you, when you assign a primitive value to a const variable, that effectively makes that variable immutable because you cannot change primitive values. You can't mutate true to false. You can't mutate a string. You can operate on a string and produce a new string, but you can't change the actual string itself. This is not true for arrays and objects, the objects of JavaScript. So for example, if I have a person object, I have name Harry, we'll actually do uh, first is Harry, uh, last is Wolf. So this is fine. I have my person variable assigned to an object. An object is not a primitive value, it is a object. So first things first, let's try to reassign the variable itself. Again, you can't reassign a variable to, you can't reassign a constant variable. So if I actually tried this to be um, bananas, because I'm pretty bananas, <laughs> I get an error here. You can't assign to a constant variable. So I'm going to say person, we still have, let's just refresh, I'll go back to where we were. Person is here. But what gets interesting is that you can change the value that the constant variable is pointing to. So I can actually go here and change my first name to impasta, which is one of my favorite jokes. What do you call a fake pasta? Something like that. That was fine. And now if I actually look at person, I can see that my first name is impasta. I've changed the object, but not what the constant variable is pointing to, which is a very sneaky distinction to make, such that if you have a const assigned to an object, that object is not immutable. Same thing is true for an array. So for example, if I have people, I'm gonna have there be, 
Uh, I'm just gonna do numbers. So let's actually change this to numbers because let's have it be actually accurate. So numbers is an array of one, two, three. I can actually mutate this array, push uh, four. So numbers is now one, two, three, four. I can do numbers shift to remove the first item and two, three, four. So I can mutate the actual object itself, I just can't mutate what the constant variable is pointing to. A very, very slightly uh, distinction to make. Again, if I try to reassign this to true, you can't do it. You just can't. You cut off. JavaScript's like, hey, no, you cannot go. Try again later, and I'll show you a show. So yeah, that's kind of the uh, TLDR in a very RDLT version of a video. I want to make sure that you're aware that const is not a silver bullet. If you want to do immutability in JavaScript, there is a whole host of different ways to do that, which I'm not going to talk about right now because that's a video that would be better for me to save for a later day. Uh, let me know if you knew this already. I'm curious. Did you know about this weird behavior of const? Because it's one that could bite you if you're not aware of it. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please do become a subscriber down below so that I can tell you some more things about them and JavaScripts in the world. You'll hear from me again next week with a brand new video, my smiling face. Uh, I'm actually recording this in daylight hours, which is why everything looks nice and crisp. I'm not recording it like a night owl in the middle of the night. So daylight makes wonders for video content. I'll see you again next week. And until then, I have to say, bye-bye.